What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Tricks of the Month Profiles. Today we get to hang out with Ifeek. Ifeek, thanks so much for being with us. Woo, what's I, up? I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about yourself, where you're from, how long you've been juggling, and what you're most excited about when it comes to juggling right now. Yep. Hey, hello, what's up? I'm Ifeek. I'm from Malaysia, uh, main city of uh, Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. I've been juggling for the last three years. Um, I started picking up poi like the last seven years and started picking up clubs like the last three years. Um, so far, it's uh, doing pretty good for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. How did you get into juggling? I, I, you started with poi, you said? Yeah, I started with poi and like some different kind of props. I started with poi, uh, contact staff, um, with uh, contact juggling and then the last three years is actually kind of like opened my mind to kind of like blend in the whole thing together in clubs. So it kind of like start clubs mixed together with the props that what I have picked before. Mm -hmm. What do you much. think it is about the, the clubs that attracted you to kind of pick up clubs? Oh man, uh, long story, make it short. I was actually get really inspired by a good friend of mine. Uh, Marvin mm -hmm. so um, yeah he showed me some tricks and then uh, that time I was uh, visiting him in the US and then like the following year I started bought like a set of clubs and started like practicing and uh, every year pretty much uh, Marvin actually came to Malaysia oh yeah and we we've been spending time uh, quality time for like um, at least like two months or three so that's where I actually um, uh, picking up like quick and uh, ever since just keep on going. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm hanging out with Marvin next week. Uh, he, he's kind of like uh, my, my big brother though. <laughs> he's like, uh, we kind of like, uh, so when I was a visit in the US, I was actually staying with him. So whenever he comes to Malaysia, I was actually kind of like hosting him at the same time. So we kind of like... Uh, like, bro, what's up, Marvin? <laughs> That's <laughs> <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> so how would yeah. you say that uh, poi and juggling has impacted your life? Well, yeah, so from hobby, um, turns into career now, I can say. So I'm doing this full-time right now. Um, I started with a hobby um doing freelance performing here and there and then the last three years i was actually quit my full-time job and started to actually um doing this full-time so ever since i started and um the people here actually more appreciate what am i doing and i also able to travel um all over the world and uh, have a bunch of friends mm -hmm. so good that's awesome yeah. Right. Uh, so, so it's turned into a career for you, and you know, you get hired primarily in your in your area. What what kind of things do you perform at? Um, I'm actually offering more of a, a fire lights and object manipulation. Yeah, that is the main thing that what we performing. So I have a, also a troop here. Uh, we have a group that performing and uh, doing fire lights and object manipulation show. Um, and what what kind of venues do you usually perform at? Uh, yeah, so we have a different kind of events. We have like annual dinners. We have uh, um, birthday parties. We have wedding too. So okay. yeah, that is like the main thing usually happening uh, around this, the area. Mm -hmm. So are there lots of people to juggle with in Malaysia? Um, the community is like not so big. Uh, we started back... Uh, seven years ago for like um, five people the whole around country oh wow and now we have like over 50 to 60 people now and uh, maybe about 20 people the whole country is actually juggling that's it wow so it's like very very small community very little is very limited and very hard to find people juggle mm -hmm. in Malaysia what do uh, what do people normally think of when they see people juggling um, here, um, mostly people will say more of like circus and clown. Um, but I'm kind of like changed the perception of, uh, the people here, more of like lifestyle, fashion, and, uh, also mm -hmm. sports. Mm 
mm. and more mostly arts. I, I would say mostly arts of like what uh, people ask about. So that's that's awesome that kind of juggling is so young that you're able to really kind of shape the perception of juggling in your country. Uh, I think of like here in the U.S., like juggling is is really associated with like clowning and like it's just not taken very seriously. Um, and, yeah. the, and the particular kind of clowning that we have in the U.S., um, which is kind of goofy. So, right. uh, so I, you know, I wish that we could go back in time and kind of change that perception here as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you want to hang out with more jugglers in your area, where do you have to go? So um, um, the festival in the Philippines, I think, is like the biggest. Um, I think they have like probably around... 150 to 200 people every year. Uh, most people picking up like different different kind of props. They have poi, mainly poi um, staff. Um, now only recently, the last two years, started picking up juggling. Um, <clears throat> in Singapore, it's kind of like a big uh, juggling community. I mean, the country is like not that big, but uh, the festival is is pretty good. So I've been attending the festivals for the last. Um, five years, uh, Philippines. The last four years, uh, that is their first year. Two thousand thirteen was really good, and uh, ever since I keep on going, uh, keep on coming again every year, and to support the local community there and see the community around Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, that's great. Do you think uh, that there's going to be some big things coming out of Southeast Asia here pretty soon? Yeah, I'm actually attending a Vietnam Circus Festival in coming two weeks. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, Malaysia, I'm the one hosting in Malaysia. So this is going to be our fourth year in October. Um, so far, it's doing pretty good. Uh, people get to know more about Malaysia, not only about the community, but also I would love to share about our local culture. Um, I hope that um, South uh, Southeast Asia is going to be uh, going to be more bigger than what uh, we have for now. Mm-hmm. Um, Thailand also we have some jugglers, but uh, for now not that serious. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward for different different countries too um, in Asia in general, mm-hmm. able to like um, hang out and jam together. Yeah, you just you you just made me think of a really great question or a question I think is great. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know how how you like it, but do you think that kind of the South Asian Southeast Asian culture has kind of influences the way that you juggle or that people in Southeast Asia juggle? Oh, oh wow! This is funny story too because um, the last uh, two months I was uh, recently came back from Hong Kong, and I was like um, juggling. Well, definitely, like uh, my juggling style is kind of like. Uh, different than regular uh, Asia, especially in China side. So I was like doing manipulation and they were like, uh, I don't think that is juggling. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good actually um, to share and spread uh, the new generation or new style of uh, juggling concept to uh, Asia, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So between poi and clubs, which which prop do you like better? Uh, man, both is kind of like uh, special to me because um, without Poi, definitely I don't see clubs to me every mm-hmm. uh, today. Um, Poi also have changed my life um, when I started. And then clubs is actually make things actually more clean and make everything is like neat in Poi. So I actually still do both. Uh, but now I've been uh, focusing a lot of uh, clubs nowadays compared mm-hmm. to Poi, for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so your favorite uh, props of a Poi and clubs to use are brands? Um, so, no, the clubs is actually, I get it uh, also Henry's. Mm-hmm. I got from Henry's and then uh, Poi, I got a pair of contact Poi from uh, Mops, mm-hmm. Marvin Ong's prop shop. Mm-hmm. So they, they are amazing, uh, 90mm, um, 26 inch length and yeah i have my own um squishy own handle it's a kind of like a table food Hmm. 
I think most people are using it. <laughs> but it's like a DIY thing. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, and the last question, what do you want to communicate or what did you want to communicate when you were making your Tricks of the Month video? What do you want people to uh, walk away with? Um, I was actually want people to see a different uh, perspective of clubs instead of just juggling. And um, well, yeah, when people are juggling, they're more focusing on three, four, five, or maybe seven if they want. But uh, as you can see on my videos, it's like more of like two clubs. I was actually um, trying to show um, a beautiful of the visuals of two clubs. Mm-hmm. Um, a mix of a little bit of like poi flavor and also a little bit of like a contact juggling flavor and also mm-hmm. contact stuff to blend together in, in clubs. So, um, yeah, I yeah, um, would say if people are interested in poi and started think to pick up another props, clubs is the, is the props for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a one one two club part in your video that stuck out to me um and i guess it was the contact a contact section you had you know a club right. on, on each hand and you were kind of moving them parallel and then they were yeah. both spinning at the same time uh, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool thank you yeah. thank you where can people find you if they want to see more of your stuff uh, um yeah you can find me on instagram i'm kind of um uh how to say um active on instagram okay. also you can you can add me on facebook Woo. okay and you can be friends with me no worries all good <laughs> what's your right. name on instagram um i think kaikal a-i-f-i-q-u-e uh k-h-a-i-k-a-l just continuous uh you can just search i think actually you can find me on instagram uh same goes to my facebook and also same goes to my youtube so you can find like three of this account Everything is in the same name. So looking forward to see you guys. All right. Okay, so yeah, thanks for being with us. And uh, last word goes to you. What are some words of inspiration for the object manipulation community at large? Um, I would say, guys, keep on doing whatever you guys been doing. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, without you guys, I won't be here today. i uh, been seeing all these people. And thanks for this uh, opportunity uh, to share my work. So I hope this is going back to the community. Much love. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out my channel for more interviews and highlight reels every single week. And until next time, keep on juggling. Cool, Sean. Talk to you soon. Bye.